Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you work for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New York, 47. The Milton Fitzpatrick Bank is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees. And head of accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or, alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director and her two lieutenants, Mann and Perez. Good luck, 47.
good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Like love and If you want to pass, you need to comply. To Show up. <laughs> Just a quick pat down, sir. Nothing to worry about. Green light, go ahead, sir. Hi, it's me. Yeah, it went really well. I think I did. Oh, have we talked to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathrooms. He's been there for ages. Okay, doesn't sound promising. Yeah, we'll... Milton Fitzpatrick is holding a round of job interviews. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Listen, I'll see you later, okay? Love you too. Looking good, man. You look like you've done something. You are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. Best of luck in your interview, 47. Let's see where this will lead you to. Hello? Personal space? Could you please go away? Nervous? Don't worry. You'll do fine. Hello, Mr. Garcia, I presume. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you had time to drop it.
Mr. Thomas, have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas, good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm re ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... uh... go on. He's on. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Mm, very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. This one. All right. Now look at it closely. Take a few moments. Then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes. Brutal, even. Right. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Okay. Oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, that was certainly <laughs> unexpected. I think the results are pretty clear, Mr. Thomas. We don't have the perfect match for the investment banker position. However, you're just the man we need for our accounting department. I have to agree with Kevin here. We need someone a little more cutthroat for the top tier here at the bank. Someone willing to go that extra mile, to really dive into character, as it were. But on a positive note, I do believe you will fit in perfectly with the more dry-witted accountants. Hmm. Great point, Melissa. There's no need to turn this little setback into a complete failure. Someone with your particular set of skills would be perfect for accounting. When can I start? That's the spirit. Tomorrow morning at 8. But you know what? Have a look around the bank. You've got clearance for the ground floor, first, and second floors. Get to know the space a little. And then, we'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm sure you can see yourself out, Mr. Thomas. Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas.
Mr. Price. Now, poor guy. He did well for him. The bank cooled 10 million. I mean, from what I heard, HR poked him several times, telling him the director did not have. <laughs> I gave this place everything. Okay, you're all fine. Just supposed to play the game. Anyone find it? Yeah. No. All right there? Forty-seven? That's Fabian Mann, head of accounts at this branch of Milton Fitzpatrick. One of the investment bankers at Milton Fitzpatrick is facing termination. He's got a private meeting with Director Savalas, and has been told to register at the top floor reception. Well, terminations are your specialty, 47.
I hit every quota they threw at me. How... how could she do this? I can't be fired. I'm a professional. No need to worry. I got this. I can't believe it. Huh? I hit every quota they threw at me. I got a sir. Hello, sir. This is a restricted area. You don't belong here. How's everything looking up here? Everything's looking normal here, sir. Good. I'll be back. Back later.
How about that game last night, huh? I'm here for a meeting with Director Savalas. I don't think... Oh. Yes, of course. That's right, go inside. Thank you. Excellent, 47. This should be a termination Director Savalas won't forget. I wish I could tell you. Oh, I've never seen such a mess before. Huh. Mr. Jackson, have a seat, please. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, as you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally. To measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks, and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you've certainly managed to stand out, Mr. Jackson. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? Or does your wife do that? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. Guard, leave the room. I need a moment alone, Mr. Jackson. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the next... Huh? Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, 47.
Listen, sir, there's no drama. This will just take a sec, sir. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. This is the vault, really 47. Sorry. The data core should be behind that large steel door. But I need my things in there. Well, we'll be done before closing time. Sir, sir, you can't be here. Goodbye forever. Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. All right, good job, sir. Thank you. This is the vault, 47. The data core should be behind that large steel door. This is the vault, 47. The data core should be behind that large steel door. Well, at least it's not as bad as that time in Queens. Remember that? Keep together? Don't rush. Talk to Perez if it's that important, but expect a big no.
sure that Athena Savalas was a part of that group. The director. She's a dead fish, man. I mean, she wouldn't be caught socializing with anyone. Especially not some secretive group of people running the world from the shadows. sure that Athena Savalas was a part of that group. The director. Say what? Great work, 47. You now have access to the vault. Good work, 47. That's the evidence secured for now. Careful not to lose it. If anyone sees you with that rack, my guess is you'll draw a lot of unwanted attention to yourself. That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. Excuse me? Uh, 
you want to have a look? 10 4. Olivia has found something interesting. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going? To paradise, 47. 